Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to be testing out the RF frequency on the DJI Avada to see if the FCC hack actually does work. Is it yay or nay? This video is actually recommended by one of our users and thankfully I did have an uh, RF meter that I had before we got this house. Um, apparently there were some issues with it, so we needed a meter, but this one had the RF. This one actually has the RF frequency reader built in, so it should work. Um, so without any further ado, let's get started. I'm actually going to do the test inside because it's really hot out. And as you know, with DJI products, most no action camera overheats. DJI Avada overheats. Um, anything that's uh, DJI related I've had over the years has actually uh, overheated, especially the Osmo Pocket. Um, why? I don't know, but it seems to be their signature um, experience with their technology. But great drones. All right, knowing that and moving forward, we're gonna go inside and um, see if this thing can actually uh, pick up the channels, right, from the FCC hack. So we have the Eric Hill, uh, see if we can see there, um, RF reader, it also reads other things like microwaves and things like that um, to see what's emitting out. I'm just gonna turn it on, hold on the power to make sure, yes, we can record. Um, what I want to do before I record though, if you have this meter or thinking about getting it, um, you want to make sure that the sound is on. See that speaker that appeared right there? And then you want to make sure that you're in the right frequency. So see I'm in electric, and if I click the mode button, I want to be in, not magnetic, in the RF frequency mode, okay? Um, it's picking something up. Um, might be something in the area. Let's see what it's picking up. Is it that? No. It's the camera. Okay. So we'll move that to the side. Leave this here. It's picking something up. Could be uh, the transmitter from the um, Osmo Action receiver thingy. Um, let's see. Hold on. We'll pull this out. And yeah, nothing. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, so the audio on this isn't going to be the best because to really do this test, we're going to have to eliminate this. Okay? All right, so say goodbye to this. We're going to shut this off. Um, and leave that like that. All right, so we had to shut it off because we really want to do this test with zero interference, okay? So the audio might sound a little bit different. I have to shut off the camera and then turn it on again just to make sure the audio is recording. Okay, since I pulled this out, since it was interfering, true test will be without interference, okay? So let's see what we got there. Zero, okay? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the RC controller. This is for my remote control car. You might have seen that video where I did an upgrade, and now it goes about 40, almost 50 miles an hour out of, you know, with the upgrade. All right, so we're going to turn this on. Okay. Whoops, turn it on. That's the tricky part with this receiver is turning it on. Okay, so I'm just going to speak a little bit louder so you can hear me because we had to get rid of the... Um, DJI controller. So as you can see, this reader actually works. It's in the red. Look at that. From behind it. Great. Okay, so we know that this works. The RF, we're going to shut this off. Okay, so that we know. Wow, the frequency actually. Well, it does have to transmit, right? Let's shut it off. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, shut it off. We shut it off. So that's pretty neat how the frequency could actually travel. Let's see how far it is. Look at that. Kind of neat, huh? Just gonna shut it off. See, it's off now. Back to zero. That's great. So that's with this RC controller. We're just running a test to make sure it works. Okay, so now we have the DJI Avada. Nothing. The goggles, nothing. Um, so I'm going to pause this because I actually need to update this because there's a firmware update. So I need to run the latest firmware. So, and let's see with this. And as you know, if I leave these on for too long, they will overheat. Okay. All right. So let's, um, 
take a break. Okay, so as you can see, there's an update that needs to be done to the uh, DJI Vada. Um, so I'm just gonna install that. It's a DJI goggle firmware upgrade, which um, could make or break the um, FCC hack, right? Um, so while that does that, um, you'll know the latest firmware that this um, RF meter testing will be done on, okay, right after this. So the meter's going a little bit crazy. I think we have to move this out of the way. Move that out of the way. Move that out of the way to make sure. All right, so the meter's off. As you can see on your screen, um, the DJI Bata is updating to the latest firmware. I don't know if you know, but when you have your part 107, that's one of the requirements. Uh, you have to keep updated with the latest software. Uh, there is some interference going on here, and it's not the Lego. I believe it's coming from the, um, the goggles, which are over there, okay? Again, I had to do this test outside because it's hot out and the things just overheated before. But as you can see, if I move this closer with the goggles on, um, the frequency is just going bonkers. So I have to leave that here. Oh, something just happened. Ah, as you can see on your screen, the um, everything's at 95%. Battery is running a little bit low over there, but I have an extra one just in case. Um, oh, things just sunk, which is great. Hopefully, we can finish this test. Oh, there you go. Go fly. It's ready 99%, 100. Running it from here. It's actually um, screen sharing um, through this app called Reflector. It allows you to push things wirelessly to your desktop so that you can see what's happening on your phone. Um, 99%. All right, so the Go Fly should actually work. Let's click Go Fly. It says DJI Integra firmware installed, right? And there it is. This is the latest firmware. Um, it's 01.03.00. Okay, and if we go to Go Fly, click OK on the goggles. I'm gonna have to move this out of the way. I may have to put the Avada outside so that it doesn't um, overheat. Because as you know, when on the ground for extended periods of time, I'll just move that out of the way. Um, so we're in the goggles. We're going to click on settings, about, and there's the latest firmware. You won't see the serial numbers, but wait, there's the firmware. 01.03, okay, remote controller firmware. Um, obviously they both match now, all right? Um, so I think what I might do is take the Avada and put the Avada outside so that it actually can actually cool down. Um, we'll just leave this on because remember they both have to be on in order to connect and have that full experience. But like they say in the movies, I'll be back. <laughs> All right. And the, um, the, uh, I'll put it in the shade. Hopefully it lasts throughout the duration of this test. Put that there. Okay, let that work its magic. All right, so while the propellers are spinning, working its magic, we're just gonna do some frequency testing. All right, let's see what channel we're on now. And go to transmission, mode, forget manual. We're gonna leave it on auto. Okay, scroll out so we know we're in audio. Okay, this is recording, and let's see what we get. Oh wow, look at that. So with, I'm gonna move the phone out of the way. Some of you might say, hey, the phone's in the way. No, nope, phone's not in the way, phone's all the way over there. Okay, so there we have it. So on auto, auto frequency, we got 11 and nine. Let's try the other side, so we're gonna flip this over. Oh wow, on top, 30, 58, 145, that's on auto. Auto fluctuates between 30, 50, 145, and that's it, okay? Now let's try a different channel, all right? So we're gonna go back into the goggles, transmission, forget auto. Um, Oops, um, channel mode, 
auto, whoops, manual. Okay, let's move the meter out of the way because we're getting transmission interference. All right, so manual, and we're gonna choose, my favorite channel is channel three, okay? As you can see, channel two fluctuates up and down, but it all depends on your environment, right? So let's bring the meter back and run a little test. This is channel three, okay? Goes 100. Channel 3, 194, 165, we'll just let it run, 180, I saw that, 140, 180, bring it here, this lower signal there, it's still feeding, let's put it on the antenna, right about there, 169, 200, 230, wow, nice. So it's a strong signal on channel three, okay? 240, wow. All right, so let's try a different channel. We're gonna move the meter to the side because of interference. Let's try a different channel. We're going to try channel transmission. Um, let's try channel two because that one seems to be going funky. Move back, okay, and let's see, channel two. Channel two, so let's see, channel two is a little funky. Um, it goes between 48, 26, fluctuates. We'll just move the goggles around. Um, Whoops, meter shut off. Okay. Now let's put the meter back, turn the sound on, and make sure I'm in the right mode. Magnetic, RF, there we go. 148, 115, 160, 196, 29. This is channel two, okay? Leave it there, because remember the signal would probably be in one place. So that's channel two. Propellers are still spinning. Take off with caution. No GPS. Wow, that's so weird. Probably because the goggles are in here. All right. So that's channel two. Okay. I believe it was channel two. Let's get the meter out of the way. All right. So now let's test transmission. Yeah, that was channel two. Okay. Let's try channel one. Okay. Channel one, and then we'll try a different megahertz. That's channel one. Channel one's, not, wow, channel one's not bad. Channel one did better than channel three. Holding at 214, two something strong. So, um, which is really nice. Okay, yeah, look at that. Channel two, holding in the high twos. <laughs> All right, let's try a different megahertz. Okay, let's try, let's get the meter out of the way. And let's try a different bandwidth. Let's try 20 megahertz, okay? 20 megahertz, channel two. And where's the meter? <clears throat> RF meter. Hmm, not bad. Okay, look at that. That is channel two at 20 megahertz. Wow, look at that. Um, now let's just put the meter there. Whoops, put the meter over here. All right, so now let's try channel one at 20 megahertz. How many channels does this give us? Oh, that gives us four. Let's try channel four. Okay, at 20 megahertz. Go back. Mm, channel one, not bad. Holding strong, giving us strong signals. This is really nice. Oh, except that uh, now channel, whatever channel that was, it's in the high 100s and 84s. Um, that was channel four, I believe. Now well, it's going up a little bit. Channel four. Okay, let's try channel five because channel five looks like it lost a couple of bars, I think. No, I guess not. Let's try a different frequency. Okay, move the meter out of the way. Let's try. 
10 megahertz. 10 megahertz on channel two. Okay, let's see. Scroll back. Not bad. High twos. High 65. Really nice. Ah, oh, dropped a little bit. So that's at 10 megahertz. 10 megahertz in the high 90s. Oh, 120. It fluctuates. Okay. Definitely not breaking two. Whoops. Yep, not breaking twos. Ah, oh, broke two. All right, look at that. Um, let's see. I remember the frequency as we go further and further away, it drops, but it still holds the signal. Okay, remember that has to do that for the Avada. So let's go back, put things back to its regular setting, move the meter out of the way, put it back at 40 megahertz. I tend to like channel three. It's one of my favorites. And let me see. getting there probably needs to find itself again just gonna shut the goggles off and let them reset because something this experience isn't as fluid as we want it to be okay now we're gonna turn them back on Okay, everything should find itself again. Signal should start to go bonkers. Let it reset. Remember, this is running the latest firmware that I just updated. There we go. Um, oh, I have to reset the goggles. Press that button. Voila. Everything's connected. It looks like now the GPS is picking up. Before it wasn't. Um, let me just find the... Mm, that's probably what happened. Let's see. Are the propellers going? No, probably not. Let's see. Yep, motors are started. Okay. Uh, take off with caution. No GPS. That is kind of weird that there's no GPS after the update. Um, we'll have to test that a little bit when I go outside. And what channel was that? Let's go back into the channels. And scroll down, transmission, manual, 40 megahertz, channel three. And then let's go back again. There we are, now we're back in business, look at that. So I had to do a reset, so sometimes the frequency keeps they have to reboot it, but now it's holding strong at 200. Looks like the other side. Yeah, and that's at channel three. Okay, let's just scroll out. Oops. Okay, so there's that. Channel three holding strong in the high twos. Gets up there, high ones. Look at that. Yep. There we are. So that's channel three, but I want to take this outside um, because as you can see, it says you can't take off without GPS and the GPS was there earlier. I'm just gonna put the goggles on, shut off the meter and go outside. Okay, let's see what happens. Take off with no GPS, that is so strange. It's possible that the goggles, all right. Let's have a look and see. Look at that. So all it took was a reboot. As long as I did the reboot, everything went back to normal. Um, let me just give a shout out because this video would not have been possible, right? Thanks to one of our users. So yes, this is gonna be a shout out to one of our viewers and subscribers, Frederico Jolenic. Shout out to you because this video would not have been possible if it wasn't for you. But on that note, we know the FCC hack works um, for some and not for others. And as you can see, it worked for me. It is admitting the frequency out, which is great. Um, signal holds strong. And um, again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. 
or ideas for other videos. And um, remember to subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.